Hi, welcome to Grace Every Morning. I am Pastor Steve on Grace Missions. The application question as we reflect on Mark 7 today is, is the tradition biblical? In Mark chapter 7, the Pharisees continued to find fault with Jesus and his disciples. This time, it is regarding the issue of eating with unclean hands. It highlights the difference between the Jewish religious tradition and the teachings of Jesus. Jesus teaches that our relationship with God is not based on a rigid religious formality, but a radical faith in Him. The key verses I've chosen are verses 9 to 13. Then He said, You skillfully sidestep God's law in order to hold on to your own tradition. For instance, Moses gave you this law from God, honour your father and mother, and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father and mother must be put to death. But you say it is alright for people to say to their parents, Sorry, I can't help you, for I vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way, you let them disregard their needy parents. And so you cancel the word of God in order to hand down your own tradition. And this is only one example among many others. The Pharisees thought that the people were exempted from giving to their own parents so long as they gave to the temple. According to the Pharisees' tradition, when a person pronounced something as korban, which means an offering or gift dedicated to God, it could not be given to any other person, including parents. Even if he had a change of heart, he could not because it was a vow to God. Jesus was tired of these religious leaders' false piety and narrow interpretation of God's law. He exposed their hypocrisy by showing them how their tradition broke the fifth commandment of honouring parents, which includes taking care of their needs when they got older. Traditions can help us to focus on Jesus and honour God. But we need to ask ourselves, is some of our religious traditions are biblical and point us towards God's truth and love? Or are they mere outward observances? I remember many years ago, a local church pastor thought that we should give to God until it hurts. Otherwise, God would not be pleased. Honestly, I was very uncomfortable with this teaching. And for a while, I even doubted if I was giving enough. Thankfully, I was reminded by 2 Corinthians 9.7 where it says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. This helps me to freely express my love and worship unto God through my giving. Pharisees still exist today. They criticize and burden others with traditions, rules, and regulations that a devout church-going Christian is expected to keep. When this becomes the basis for our faith, then we are missing the point. We may become preoccupied merely with proper or acceptable outward behavior instead of living in relationship with Jesus and loving others the way He would. What are some traditions you have held dearly in your Christian faith? Let's review if they are biblical or if they contradict with the great commandment to love God and your neighbour as yourself. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for reminding us to be careful of any traditions that merely promote outward good behaviour. Help us to discern them and let it not distract us from observing your commandment to love God and to love others. Reveal to us this morning if there are any practices we hold on to dearly or if there are any hypocrisy within us. Set us free and enable us to seek and worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Let us follow only traditions that attract us to God and not distract us from God. Have a blessed day ahead.